Hello Aquarius, welcome to Mystic Marie Tarot and Guidance. This will be for Aquarius, any placement. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. Looks like somebody wants to make a positive impression on you. Just saw that card. Make sure to take what resonates from the multiple scenarios that are going to come out. Yeah, look like somebody got caught cheating or they were sneaking around with somebody else or cheating with you. They want to pick it back up. Multiple scenarios though. Flip and switch the masculine and feminine energies. Let's get into the messages. For Aquarius, any placement. Bothered, never satisfied. No matter what you do, this person is unfulfilled. Or this is somebody that we're dealing with, craving your physical touch. For Aquarius, spirit, what's the tea? Any placement, playroom, hidden sexual secrets. Yeah, I'm picking up on a lot of sexual chemistry. That could be... <laughs> That's why somebody cheat. They're not getting that sexual tension or chemistry from the person that they're dealing with. Fake single. They they not single. They acting like they single. But some of you, somebody's portraying, oh, I'm single. I'm living my best life, single and mingling. But they really want to be in a commitment. Could be you, could be your person. Hidden sexual secrets. Somebody could have a friends with benefits connection. And they act like they want to keep it like that. It could be because they're emotionally unavailable. Inspector, exploring possible options with you. Misinformation, wrong info given to them. So people could be putting bugs in somebody's ear, especially with the depiction of this car. She picked up the phone and was like, hmm, she's not really feeling the info she got on the other side of that line. All right. Somebody could also be thinking about how do you fit into their lives if this is a friends with benefit situation and they married or they got somebody else. Well, Aquarius, any placement on a commitment, baby mama, whatever reorganizing priorities exploring possible options with you they're trying to see how do you fit in their life friends family job bills fuck fuck ships situationships and relationships how do you fit into their life because it's friends with benefit situation for some of you ain't it and for some of you you want more they trying to figure it out or you're trying to reorganize and get focused in your life Somebody trying to just find a peace of mind. Y'all not communicating. Somebody got blocked. Unsure communication, not clear. Hello. So with it being in reverse, that's how it came out. Someone could be trying to figure out how to communicate with you if they haven't been communicating clearly. How to communicate more effectively. How to speak up. How to express something. Something is going on with phone lines here. I did just see the other phone where somebody picked up and it was misinformation. So someone has cut off communication. Or they got something to say. They were unsure about what to say. Now they know how to say it for some of you. What else? Some of y'all just changed y'all number and block this person. <laughs> for Aquarius. Curiosity. Interested in knowing more about you. Yeah, because for a lot of you, it's only been sex. For a lot of you, it's only been sex. See how they making out on that table or whatever it is. Look like kitchen sink. Okay. <laughs> Hidden sexual secrets. A lot of fantasies being played out here. All right. We're going to back up out of that. Now, I feel like some of you wanted more. Going lights up whenever near you. Cover up trying to prevent the truth from coming out. Just saw the twin flame card for some of you. Let's see. For Aquarius. So they've been acting a damn fool. Whoever this is. Mm -hmm. Down in the dumps. Gamble about to take a risk to see you. All right, now I flipped them cards in reverse. So for some of you, they could be trying to come out of depression. For some of you, the risk to see you is because they're dealing with somebody else. They gamble and they playing with fire. We got Ashanti and Lloyd. Oh, South Side. All I want to do is ride to the South with you. Somebody want to get lost in your energy and be in bliss. They don't want no problems. They don't want no smoke. But it's a lot of smoke. It's a lot of problems. All right, I do feel like a lot of those internal things or creating conflict, whether they are in the head a lot, not in a good head space, depressed, they're not sure how to go about a situation, they pull back, uh, they only giving you sex because they're afraid to be vulnerable, they're afraid to open up, but they're thinking about it, because you make them happy, lights up whenever near you or somebody mentions you, yeah, this person is coming towards you, they cling to you but don't want to open up, but they're headed towards you, if y'all ain't, ain't been talking or communicate, get ready for that line to bling, all right, let's see, for Aquarius spirit, toil and labor. They want to work on it and they get ready to message you if they have not been speaking to you. Or this is you. For Aquarius, any placement. Child, children could be a factor. You could be pregnant. Somebody they're dealing with could be pregnant. Or somebody you're dealing with. Could, you could have got somebody pregnant if you're a male watching. Or children are a factor with reorganizing priorities. For Aquarius, any placement. Mm. 
almost said mature man, but mature woman is at the bottom of the deck. So it definitely could be somebody who is um, older than you, for some of you. Or this is about becoming wiser based on experiences. Could also be a situation with this wealthy man that this is somebody's divine counterpart, emperor energy. They want to provide for you or somebody expected this person to provide for them. They wanted to be spoiled. What else for Aquarius? Somebody could definitely be married, but that's over with with coffin, marriage, and courthouse. Ooh. Coffin, courthouse, and marriage. Somebody getting a divorce. If it's not a divorce, it's a spiritual soul contract that has come full circle. It's over with. This could be somebody's twin for sure with an official person, wealthy man. All right. Or you could be somebody's twin if you're a masculine watching. Someone could have uh, lost a mate in the military. A loss of life. Something playing out in court here. Somebody could be trying to steal an inheritance or some shit like that poverty yeah because okay somebody feels left out in the cold a child could have been abandoned neglected or forgotten about but i do feel like with this wealthy man courthouse marriage coffin they could want to transform something with you move in with you be with you marry you elope courthouse marriage that's it all of a sudden great change transformation scorpio energy with this death energy one and nine breaks down to a ten so it's completion closing of a cycle but it's also a coffin which is the death in tarot so it's scorpio energy which brings great change something is shifting what else for Aquarius. This could be Aries. This wealthy man being the emperor in tarot, which is Aries. Or just may not be relevant at all. What else? Family room. This could be a fact that they got a family with somebody else. So they're holding back or they're trying to reorganize shit behind the scenes. Before they leave a situation behind, they got to make sure their kid is good. And this could be you journey they could be traveling for work want to go on a journey with you y'all could be in a twin flame journey for some of you house they living with somebody but some of you they need a place to stay they got to move out occupation and house somebody's working towards something solid they're trying to save money build money accumulate enough money to um get a bigger house they could want to move in with you they could want to blend families okay interesting we got expectations. Someone has high expectations or they know that you do. So they feel like they got to come correct. Interesting. Ten of swords fell out with the lovers. All right, somebody got betrayed. They could have treated you as an option or chose someone else over you. Gemini energy. Four Aquarius. Nine of Pentacles. Now we got Trey Songs. I don't want nobody else but you. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe they're realizing that. Two of Cups. Yep. This is definitely a soulmate. Let's see, Spirit. What's the T for Aquarius? Queen of Swords could be a factor. So this could be someone becoming newly independent, newly single after investing into a relationship or a commitment or a marriage for a long time with the Herophant Taurus energy. Someone standing up for what they believe here as far as traditions and a social status. So somebody could stay with somebody due to what everybody uh, expects them to do due to social status, social beliefs with the hair of fire and the queen of swords. People ain't really got no emotions for each other, but they stay in a marriage or a commitment. Crazy. All right. That's, they could be ending with coughing, but maybe they still live with this person. Who is Aquarius need to know? Ten of swords, ten of wands. Mm, something is definitely over. Endings for new beginnings. Somebody's feeling defeated, burdened, and weighed down to a situation. And that ain't going to do nothing but want you to have you desiring something new this person could be spazzing out on everybody around them how the alligator whatever that is is trying to eat that bull and them people for some of you a tourist could be involved um two fixed energies three i'm picking up on tourists with the bull here and uh death scorpio and then you're an aquarius something is about stubborn Mm. maybe they stay in a relationship even though that that person continues to basically keep keep their foot on their neck keeping them bound keeping them defeated they're not happy where they are but they stay due to responsibilities what else four of cups and a page of cups somebody's bored and discontent dissatisfied where they are it could be due to a child they stay 
but they're not happy. They've been contemplating. They've been trying to see things from a new perspective. They they feel like they owe you an apology as well. Or they know things are not favorable for a cup. Somebody is not enough for a cup. It's just, they're bored. Whatever they're dealing with or whatever they're giving you, it's not enough. It's small, page of cups, and then you feel like they owe you an apology. For some of you, they could be avoiding their emotions, all right? Because there's a stream of water here on this page of cups, but they on the dirt. So some of you, this person has a lot of emotions for you. They haven't expressed it. They're, they're very naive when it comes to their emotions and what they do and what they think and how they move about a situation. What else? For well, Aquarius, King of Swords. Well, some of you, they've been analytical. They've been analyzing the situation. I did see the Queen of Swords. They've been lying to themselves, lying to you, being very sneaky and deceptive, strategic, holding back. But uh, they could be a bit aloof, cold and cut off. Could be dealing with another air sign or this is you, especially for if it's a masculine. All right. Not really sure what you want, but now you've been thinking about it. So I feel like somebody's very intelligent, but when it comes to their emotions, they're naive, they're childish page of cups with the king of swords i mean how are you gonna be that fucking brilliant but when it comes to your emotions you suck what else two of wands four of wands they gotta decide who they want to be with who they want to be in a commitment with look like for some of y'all they made a decision five of wands there's a lot of conflict arguments disputes and tension between the two of you so that they can have a brand new beginning with the full core aries again for some of you for somebody Okay. The lovers. Gemini again for somebody. Mm. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with another air sign. Period. Maybe they laid something to rest for somebody else. Now they're available or they're going to or they need to heal. Regroup. They treated you as an option. What's the ten of swords for Aquarius? judgment yeah they're having a major awakening the world at the bottom of the deck taurus scorpio leo and aquarius i said a lot of fixed stubborn energy and here's scorpio again with the judgment so and to be honest it looks like this woman these this is a very uh deep deck but it looked like she is either being sucked by the moon, because I, I know the, the setting of this deck. Sucked in by the moon or being reborn. So this could be a divine feminine energy here. Um, either way, I feel like someone's had a major awakening. And to, and to be honest, all of these astral bodies around her, these silhouettes, these are physical bodies, emotional bodies spiritual body mental body all of that shit if you into the chakras and all of that but um someone's evolving due to being hurt they're realizing they're evaluating the situation they feel defeated they're also being called to make a decision to close something else out or you are or the both of you are this could be a spiritual path where you two are meant to learn certain lessons together but instead of giving you spiritualness they're giving you sex and petty conversation it ain't enough when there's so much more potential what's the ten of wands somebody's having an awakening ten of wands for some of you they want to revive this connection after being hurt or hurting you because judgment is a revival a reckoning and a rebirth and the ten of swords is the ending like literally being defeated six of swords they're guided to leave something that is burdensome heavy weighing them down behind by their spirit guides and by their own motherfucking mobility to move forward make the necessary transition six of swords ten of wands they could be traveling for work and it could be stressful what's this four cups page of wands they want to communicate with you some communication got cut off here a good news coming in because a sense of not knowing what to say is now that they've contemplated that they're bored where they are. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. They want to communicate something with you. King of Swords. They've been analyzing the situation. 1441 when I looked up. And they're in this energy of being clear. Having some discernment about where they stand now. With you and how they feel. What's this Page of Cups? Some of you are ready to explore adventure 
would uh, explore the potential for adventure and excitement with you. They have a new spark of passion after being in this energy of being bored and discontent. What's this page of cups? Two of Pentacles and a Herophant. They were juggling you while married, marriage, Herophant, or they were juggling going back and forth about their beliefs, where they stand, what they needed to do, being a noble steed or being with the person they have kids with, male or female, making it look good, social status. They were going back and forth. Two of Pentacles in a love read could be adapting to changes in love, being flexible. They were trying to be flexible while they were married or in meeting you or whatever. If they weren't married, they was in a commitment. They were trying to go back and forth between the two of you or three of you, whatever they was doing. They want to apologize for that. Or they were naive thinking that they could manage you and somebody else. What's this King of Swords? Queen of Wands. Yep, definitely cheating. Somebody is very sexy, seductive, and intelligent. And this King of Swords has their mind set on this very sexy, seductive, intelligent, ambitious woman. This could be you if you're a man. They see this person as their soulmate. They're not talking to this person because he's not coming out as a king of wands with his queen of wands. He's coming out as someone who's actually either newly single, a bit aloof, or just analyzing a situation, not saying much. Head over heart. What's this two of wands? Speaking of head over heart, with the depiction of this card it looks like it's going to be a tough choice here. A baby could be in the mix with the baby in that cradle there. All right. Two of wands. Two of Swords. They got a decision to make. Can't be in this energy too long. A major decision. It's a hard one. It's very complex for them to do. We got tired by division. They got a hard decision to make. They can't. Mm -mm. What's this Four of Wands? Okay. Why is the decision hard? Eight of Swords. Because they're restricted. They stuck. Could be sex, sex magic or lust and all of that with the depiction of this card. Somebody can have a lot of energy on them, a lot of soul ties, keeping them restricted. And this sabotage energy, they have gone through a lot too. But something is going to be brought down with this tower, Scorpio energy again. Why is this two of swords here? Why, why is it hard? They're reluctant and avoiding making a decision. They got their blinders on. For some of you, their intuition is blocked. Well, two of swords, spirit. For some of you, it's a baby mama. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands is a choice between two. They don't know which way to go or how to move forward. Nine of Swords, they feel guilty that they've been sneaking around Seven of Swords, giving and breadcrumbing to you and somebody else. This could also be someone's intuition with this Queen of Cups being clairvoyant, psychic, um, very intuitive. They could have a hard time making a decision. They're not able to follow the intuition. If it's a male, you're having a hard time tapping into your femininity and your intuition. Your intuition is your guide. Six of swords, ten of wands. It's burdensome because you're not listening. You're not moving forward. For the women, there's a choice between you and another woman. And still, their intuition could be blocked. Who's this queen of cups? Ten of swords. Ten of swords. The same motherfucker who they feel defeated by. Okay, this ain't baby mama. And if you're a man, that's your baby mama. Or your wife. They feel defeated or somebody before you hurt them, betrayed them, damaged them. That's why they're afraid to move forward with you. Whether you did this to them or not, they're judging you for it. It's not fair. Judgment. They're judging you. Ten of swords. Judgment about something that they've already gone through. You didn't do that. What's this for wands? Four wands. Oof got dizzy how tapped the fuck in i am the four wands is the motherfucking four wands okay so let's talk about it a marriage a commitment stability social structure with the hair font everything that everybody ideally in their community wants for them this could be i ain't speaking nothing but facts this could be a situation where i feel like this person could also be your twin flame for a lot of you uh they could be worried about stability or keeping a home together with house here house full of wines full of wines but it could be them coming in for a commitment with you what's this double four wine spirit that's crazy 
deep. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords. They living with somebody who they betrayed by stepping out with you, a third party. There's something going on in a home situation. All right? They living with somebody. They could have gotten someone pregnant because this Queen of Pentacles is pregnant. They could have a baby on the way. Multiple scenarios, y'all. Be mindful. Don't get lost. Uh, but this could also be a situation where they want to come towards you, move towards you, or be with you, move in with you. But somebody going to get hurt in the mix. What's the Three of Swords? Ten of Cups. Somebody going to get hurt for somebody else to be happy. Okay. Final outcome of this for Aquarius. Okay. The beginning of something new and consistency with the Page of Pentacles and a child being born from this Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. It's definitely the birth of a child for some of you. Somebody pregnant. All right. This is also somebody coming in to be loyal after ghosting you, pulling back or going within or becoming more wise. Virgo energy, figuring out what it is that they want. The outcome of this, of this three of swords is consistency with the page of pentacles. Though. They don't give you a small offer. Ace of pentacles. Never mind. The offer is going to upgrade. It's going to start small, but somebody's going to get hurt. Okay. So here we go. Recap. Bunch of bullshit, bunch of sex, bunch of third parties and all this, that, and the third. Somebody else hurt them. They blame you for it. They thought that they could be slick and juggle you and somebody else. They realize that they can't have it. They can't have it that way. This ain't Burger King. All right? They're going to come in with this offer. Somebody going to get hurt, though. Some Someone's going to get hurt. A third party is getting cut off, too, for somebody else to be happy. Coming in small, but it's going to grow. There's a lot of potential with this Ace of Pentacles. Eventually. They feel guilty. Nine of swords peeking out. But they want something new. Three of wands. And they want to collaborate with you. Three of pentacles also peeking out. Until next time. Peace.